Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to do percentages. Now, I'm going to break it down in such a way that you will see that doing percentages is not as hard as you've been led to believe by things such as other videos, other people, teachers. They want you to really think that it's hard to do percentages and that it takes a master stroke of intelligence and a degree of understanding that is so recondite and so out there that no one can do it but you. I don't want to show off. I want to be the kind of person who shows you things and you say, wow, look how great I am. I want you to look at yourself and say, look how great I am because of what I'm able to do on my own. Okay? So let's start with this right now. Let's break it down and make sure you understand it. All right. Now let's start with something like 10 percent of 25 pretty simple right I mean I know we're starting with something simple here but you start from something simple move on now 10 percent of 25 is 2.5 and that's pretty simple so if you were going to go to a store and something cost uh, $25 and they said well, you're going to take off uh, 10 percent you know they're going to take off $2.50 and so you'll get it for a discount now let's look at something a little bit tricky about that you realize that if you do this as a multiplication, it's going to be almost the exact same answer. Okay, 10 times 25 is 250. So it's the exact same numbers, but all you got to do is make it sensible. Make it make sense to what you're trying to do. Okay, let me show you here. If you look at this here and you would say to yourself, okay, the answer is obviously 2.5. And it's obvious, right? It's 2.5. It's not going to be. It's not going to be 25. Uh, Point zero is not going to be 0 0.25 it's going to be 2.5 that's called logic and you can see that so if I ask you to do the exact same thing but make it a multiplication problem and just kind of factor back so it makes sense you would know that the answer would have to still be 2.5 so if you have it like this here and I say take take 10 times 25 you do that and you get the answer 250 and now I say now make that into the answer for 10 percent of 25 you wouldn't say duh I don't understand of course you would say this one point goes after the 2 because it can't be anything but 2.5 because that is the only possibility which is less than 25 so from now on from this point forward we have to use logic we not we're not trying to learn something because we're just trying to you know pass a test we're trying to learn things we can use in our real life so now let's do one here let's say um, we're going to have 25% uh, of 32 now you can use a trick with that one you can look at um, 25 as a fraction which would be 0.4 or just a 25% and say how many times does that go into 32 well, 4 goes into 32 8 times. Therefore, it has to be 8. And that's a nice little math trick. And that works very well as long as you can uh, divide by 4. But by using logic, if you know that 25 times 32 is 800, by doing the math, then you simply break it down. So that'll be your answer. 800. Now you take that 800 and you try to make it in line with the logic of the percentile question okay so your 25 percent of 32 can't be 800 it can't be 80 it has to be 8 and after you're doing you're breaking it down to its logical conclusion okay don't worry about you know where do I put decimal point people talk about oh you've got zeros and zeros and you got this and that and so you count that makes a lot of sense to the person who's telling it to you but to you you're saying what he's talking about I don't understand this so I'm telling you just look at it and say what makes sense and the only thing that makes sense here is eight nothing else makes any sense all right so let's give you another one let's do um 90 percent of 50. okay and the answer is 45. now the way you look at this here forget about the answer right now but just look at this here if you were to look at this either way you would look at this as being um 50 percent of 90 or 9% of 50, it's still going to be the same answer. Okay? Now, if you go half of 90, you're going to have 45. But if you go 9 times 5, you get 45. And that's how it works. So what you're doing is, you're doing 
either this, you would go 90 times 50 and then make it make sense by taking away the zeros and put just the point where it goes. Or you simply look at the original one and you think to yourself, oh, that's really 9 times 5. And that's 45. And that's how, we, that's how you get the answer. All right. So I'll give you one here. This will be 20% of 45. Very easy, okay? This is simply 2 times 45. And that will be 90, and then bring it back to 9. Or you could look at it as um, 4.5 times 2, which would be 9. Okay, again, it's a simple mathematical equation that you have that you have to just kind of look at and say, what makes sense? That's the answer. So this would be very similar to this. Okay, 20 times 45 is 900. But you say, now how do I make that work for my answer of 20% of 45? Because it can't be 90. Too high. 90 is way too high. So it can only be 9. All right. So I'm going to drill it into you until you get it right. Now let's let's look at this here now. This is going to be one that has a, a two by one question. Okay, this is a seventy two percent of six. Okay, so what's happening here? You're looking at the six as if it's a hundred percent, and you're going to take away seventy two percent of that particular number. What do you do? First, you start with the seven. Seven times six is forty two. Now you know that two times six is twelve, so there's going to be a one coming up. So the 42 becomes 432. So you have 432. But what do you do with that? Make it logically, you know, sensible. You say, well, it can't be uh, 432, and it can't be 43.2. It has to be 4.32, and that's the answer. It's the only thing that makes any sense. 4.32. So let me just conclude by asking you a series of questions and see if you can answer them. And you can put the answers in the, the comments, or you can not. I want you to hear this, write it down, and see if you know the answer, okay? So, I'm going to ask you, what is 80% of 60? Okay? Just write it down. Nothing on the screen. 80% of 60, what's the answer? Okay? 50% of 32. Again, what's the answer? You should know this. It's easy. Okay? 40% of 80 what's the answer 40% of 20 make it even easier what's the answer how about 75% of 60 now if you hadn't seen what I did before you might thought I'm giving you something that's too hard to do but it's easy it's just do what I did last time break those numbers down okay 30% of 90 20% um, of 75 and lastly we'll do 75% of 76 okay it's not hard to do but use that as homework and understand that once you master this you'll be able to move on to other things now it's not the same as if you would say for example what is um, 8 times 9% it's not the same thing that's a little bit different that's going to be for another video but this is simply going to be looking at a number and getting the percents by doing a very easy mathematical equation okay dealing with um you know very small numbers you can multiply seven times six you can multiply four times three so if you can do that then you can get your percentages so do that uh, if, you, if you want you can you can put the answers in your comments have fun with that make good grades but learn knowledge you can use for your life that's what i want you to do learn knowledge for your life Thank you for watching. Until next time, you have a great day. And goodbye.